like a discontinued gym for you. R.I.P. Hey Fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a Fragrance Bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video on a great fragrance that is a discontinued gem of a fragrance, and that is this one, Juicy Couture's Dirty English. And of course, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. So before we get started, it seems like people are picking up Oud Vember um, on Instagram and on Facebook and um, even maybe on YouTube some. Oud Vember was a great time, especially for Fragrance Bros. My friend Jer on the channel started Oud Vember several years ago and uh, really cool to see people picking it up. So in the spirit of Oud Vember, I thought it'd be great to review this guy, which I've wanted to review a long time. This, I believe, has been discontinued for quite a while, but it is a gem of a fragrance. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Dirty English by Juicy Couture. All right, so date introduced is 2008. It's classified as a woody spicy. Notes are peppered mandarin, blue cypress, bergamot, cumin, cardamom, marjoram, uh, black leather, sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, agarwood, ebony, moss, and amber. All right, longevity on this was pretty good. Average to excellent on me, about eight to maybe nine hours on me. Uh, projection was also pretty good. It starts off pretty strong. It's got a lot of kind of heavier notes. Um, so it pushes out really, really far for about the first hour. And then um, it's mostly in the average range, I would say, for, for most of the lifetime, which for this type of fragrance, for this price, for a designer or mainstream fragrance, I think that's great. Season this is best in the fall and winter, I think, maybe, maybe more so in the fall. Um, I really love this style of fragrance, a, a woody, spicy fragrance. Oh, it's so good. Really, really like that. But it also works well in the winter, but I don't think you're gonna get quite the performance in the winter time. As for occasion, I think this is mostly casual and formal, mostly. Um, you could probably wear it some other places too, but because of some of the notes, I don't think it's offensive in any way, but I think it kind of presses the boundaries just a little bit. So I don't think it's one of those kind of workplace type of scents, but I think it's still very nice. And I think this can be worn day or night. All right, so what do I think of Dirty English? When I first tried it, it I was actually playing the uh, original Arkham Asylum. <laughs> and so this scent always reminds me of Batman, <laughs> which I think is apt because it's a very dark kind of uh, moody type of scent. It is oud based. And this is following the coattails of an oud trend that happened uh, a few years ago. But Dirty English is one of the scents that I think really did it well. And they do have oud in here, um, but there's more to it than just oud. The oud in here is uh, prominent, but it's not skanky. It's not overpowering the mix. I would say mostly this is a woody scent with some spicy elements and a, a noticeable oud presence. Um, I get a lot of cedar in this. I do get maybe a little bit of vetiver. I get a little bit of spices in there, but mostly it's a very, very warm, um, dry, woody fragrance. And the oud in there is a little sour, so it kind of it kind of pokes through every once in a while. It adds kind of a leathery type of quality to the overall blend, which I think is mostly where that leather note is coming from. It's coming from a combination of the oud note with some of those kind of spicier, woody tones in there. Because I don't get much of a leather scent in this, uh, but leather is definitely a note that you'll smell in this. Now, I love the bottle. Um, as you can see, this one is a little bit different. For whatever reason, I don't have the little doodads that come on the top here. Um, I don't know if I lost them or what. I think I did lose them, but I don't know where they went. What I think is really interesting about this is Juicy Couture is not really known to be a fragrance brand that is very unique. A lot of their fragrances are really mainstream to a fault. I think they're kind of really screechy, especially their female fragrances, I think, are mostly trash. I don't think they're good at all. And this was the one male fragrance that they made, to my knowledge, and it's a knockout fragrance. It's so great. It's just a perfect balance of notes here for this type of scent. There is a much more expensive fragrance that this reminds me of. I'm gonna hold off on saying what that is just yet, but it reminds me of a Tom Ford fragrance. So this smells richer to me than uh, some fragrances out there that are in this mainstream category with oud in there. This fragrance was kind of cashing in on a theme that kind of resonates with some men, and that is kind of like the bad boy image. You know, like the James Dean black leather, Harley riding type of guy. And I think they did a pretty good job here. Leather kind of almost always 
connotes that type of image with a lot of men, me included. I think they did a, a great job of having, having something that is kind of like that bad boy image, but still kind of nice at the same time. It wears really easily and really well, and it's not really offensive at all. Sometimes with oud fragrances, they can come off as offensive, and I don't think that with this. I think this is very pleasant, mostly because they use a lot of cedar, which adds kind of a sweetness on top of it, which balances out beautifully. A lot of the oud fragrances that came out in this era were really trying to just add oud on top of everything. Sometimes that worked with some fragrances, and sometimes it was really just kind of shoehorned in there. But like like I said, I think this one is one of those fragrances that really got not a lot of attention. But to me though, this is one of those fragrances that really is just a really well done oud fragrance. Some oud, some leather, some wood, some vetiver, some spice, all in the perfect amount. It's really great and really worth it, especially for this price, which let's get to the price real quick. The price on this, you can find this for 38 bucks all day long. Yeah, 38 bucks for 100 mil for such an exquisite oody woody fragrance is a great deal, killer. So yeah, I really recommend Juicy Couture's Dirty English to you guys. I don't really know what the name means, uh, but it's a really great fragrance in its own way. It's very masculine, I think, and it's great for this cooler weather. So yeah, definitely check out Dirty English for 40 bucks, less than 40 bucks, killer. So with that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances at a discounted cost. Um, I've bought from them before and I can really recommend them to you. Of course, you can find Dirty English on their website for 38 bucks with a coupon, so definitely check them out. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. So what do you guys think of Dirty English? Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know down in the comments down below. Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.